Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in this week to this Georgia Clay. I know that last week I said we weren't gonna have a vlog this week, but we decided to go ahead and release a new vlog. Um, strictly because this is kind of like a shot with me. So therefore you guys can kind of see the lead up to um, the built-in for my office that's gonna take place next week. So kind of try to do something a little bit different, take you guys with me, show you um, the items that I got, also talk a little bit about the inspiration behind it, and just have fun. So instead of taking a week off, we decided to go ahead and release another vlog. So let's go ahead and get into today's vlog. So today we went ahead and took a trip over to Ikea because I knew in my office that I wanted to do another Ikea hack. This time is mainly like a built-in style, not necessarily creating or revamping a whole piece of furniture, but I did need two um, certain products that I was on the look for, which is a Jemez dresser and also a Havistig unit um, cabinet. So that was the main purpose of us going over to Ikea, but of course anytime you go to Ikea you have to check out all of the new decor and all of the different kitchen areas and I'm just obsessed with kitchens. I think now my main thing I know in our forever home I do want a kitchen that's white in this color um, wood cabinet tone. So kind of like the fallow cabinets that are in our bathroom. I absolutely love it. I think it's absolutely perfect. So I came across this cabinet. I'm not quite sure which what the name of this cabinet was. I think it's the Billy bookcase but um, I'm not quite sure so if you guys know what this particular cabinet is make sure that you comment in the comment section below but I really liked it I thought it was really nice um, but it was just wasn't the look that I was going for in this particular project but very nice for someone else within their own home space and of course I love the fluted design of that um, that base as well it was really nice. I was talking to my mom. <laughs> she always seems to call me when I am busy, but that's how moms are. Um, so I'm coming over and I'm looking at some nice decor pieces and, and whatnot. Uh, Matt really seemed to like this lamp. It wasn't really my thing, <laughs> but he liked it. Um, I was showing him this record player that I thought that he should get for his office. Of course, that's just like a little prop, but I was just trying to tell him that I think a record player in his office would be classy and kind of timeless looking. Um, but yeah, so we're just checking out some items here. The prices are really good though for that particular lamp. It's kind of like an A-frame style. Um, kind of reminds me of like a retro style as well, but just would take up too much space. So this is a Havista unit. It's actually, you can buy a built-in just like this with the cabinet and the top cabinet as well. Um, but I opted to just do the top unit with a riser. Um, so I did buy that separately, but a uh, platform. And um, I really liked it. I'm just not a fan of the gray color, but of course, uh, for someone else's home that does uh, like a darker color finish, I think it'll look very nice. I didn't know that the shelves were going to be glass. I thought they were going to be um, just white. And um, so that was a present surprise. I haven't really invested a lot of time into this particular cabinet, but I really liked it. So here we are moving over to a, um, the what was this, the pictures uh, section. So we're looking at some different picture frames and I saw it. I'm like, oh, it'd be nice to create kind of like a picture ledge within my office space. Um, as well as Matt's office as well too. So I'm just kind of explaining to him my vision behind that. It's something that I do quite often because he's more of a visual person. So if I just kind of explain it to him, then he he jumps right on board. Um, so we have been to Amsterdam a couple of times and we absolutely love it. And this actually looks like a picture of an area that we took a picture in. Um, and I absolutely love it. I'm pretty sure Matt will post or put a picture in. Um, so yeah, so just looking at the different artwork here and various prints, uh, just seeing if, you know, any of these would be nice in our office. I love that picture of, um, New York there. It's very beautiful next to Central Park. Um, and yeah, so we're just looking through and I want that when I buy my Texas dream home, if I get to Texas, I really love that. I want the Texas Longhorn. <laughs> I think it's so cliche, but I love that cow. Um, I most definitely have to get one. So here we are just looking at the different um, 
just different like decor pieces that we can style our built-in or bookcases. So I was just looking at them and again, talking to my mom again, because it was actually snowing in California. So she was um, showing me uh, pictures and she was really excited. They really haven't seen snow like that. So it actually snowed there more than it did the following year for us. So it was a lot of snow. Um, so I was just talking to her and then looking at some other items and stuff and very unique pieces <laughs> that they have there. So we came over to the lighting because Matt needs a light fixture for his office. So I thought this one was pretty cool too. It was a little masculine. It was kind of that industrial vibe um, that he's kind of going for within his office space. But then I figured maybe something else would be better. Um, I did like that particular sconce. I was thinking about that above my uh, coffee bar. But I, you know, as you guys know, I ultimately decided to go with something different. Um, but I did like it. And I think one of the big reasons why I didn't get it is because it wasn't in stock. <laughs> Um, but I did like it. As you can see, Matt was intrigued with these puck lights here, but he really wanted them for his um, built-in. He was thinking like, you know, it'd be nice to light the shelves within that space, but they were kind of expensive for $5.99 per puck light. I know they were LEDs, but I just told him, I think that we can get something different for his office and just get them from Amazon and get quite a few more. Um, so yeah, we're just looking at the different lights here. As you can see, those puck lights lighting up those shelving areas um of course with ikea you just keep making your ways around <laughs> certain different areas within the space uh, looks like he liked that pendant light as well he was thinking about that chandelier but um ultimately you'll see that he went in a different direction but it's not bad for 24.99 um let's see here he also wanted a table light to go on his um he was thinking about an end table but you'll see that we actually changed directions and went with something else within his office space that it's going to be really really nice i know he's been going back and forth with like a black and gold accents i didn't even see him looking at this i think we kind of got um um separated for a little bit but i like that actually that lamp is pretty cool um so he ultimately ended up going with this one <laughs> he liked the style that it's um simple he loved the edison vibe on it it was actually discounted for 17.49 which was pretty awesome but it's also masculine as well um matt's not an over the top kind of person so i think this one went with him um completely so we were looking at these boxes here to help you know style his shelving because he'll have a lot more shelves than i ultimately have within my office space so we thought those would be some nice um just boxes to put there so here we're just walking around and of course i'm telling him some more things i want to do <laughs> um so yeah we're just looking at this area here i'm like is that shoes i didn't know ikea sold shoes <laughs> um so within this space we're just looking at some more shelving options this is something that we'll do later on within our garage we most definitely need some organization there so of course he found the tools in his screws and all those things that might be cool to help him organize a little bit better um those pegboards would come in handy but we'll make sure we'll go back and get everything that he needs So we made our way over to the textiles and I know that Matt wanted a throw um, in his office because he does have a beautiful accent chair. Uh, so he wanted something that was able to warm up the space a little bit because his chair is a leather chair and it gives off extreme masculine vibes. So he just wanted something to just warm it up a little bit and I was telling him let's get something that's light but then also you can use it as a little throw blanket when you're cold within your office space. So just looking at different ones. I like that one for my office, but it was like a knit kind of material, but I felt like it would get frailed or frayed too much or too, too quickly if I was to wash it or anything like that. And I'd have to be a little bit too delicate more than what I was trying to um, spend time <laughs> taking care of that blanket. So they just had different options here. Um, and ultimately we chose, um, I don't believe we went with this one. I think he liked this one, but I felt like it was a little bit too dark. So we went with a different direction and got the, the previous one, the first one that was a little bit lighter. So here we are finally going over to where I am going to attempt to build my first built-in desk, but it's a little bit not as traditional as what a lot of people are doing now. 
Um, so I wanted to do a combo with a dresser at the bottom, a cabinet top, or excuse me, a laminate countertop, and then I'm gonna do a Havasti unit on top. And it's an inspo for a Pinterest, I'm from a Pinterest uh, photo that I've seen, but she did it a little bit differently and she wasn't using Ikea products. I believe it's like a built-in, a true built-in, um, but I love the vibe. So that is the cabinet that we got, but also of course, you know, your girl has to find some type of decor. I felt like this green one was pretty nice for Matt's office. It's really dark, true green. And then I ultimately ended up going with a lighter one that is now in my coffee bar. So we're just looking at those. So I hope you guys are still with me and still following along. I feel like we're kind of jumping around, but that's kind of how the direction of the story is. It just kind of, as you guys know, you go in Ikea, you have to follow the flow. <laughs> so here we are, we're moving over to the cabinets or the um, laminate countertops that we decided to use. We were going to use a all wood countertop, but the laminate countertop actually was more cost effective. It also gave me the look that I was looking for as well as matte. So it catered to both of us. So we're just looking at both options here. We almost changed it up a little bit, but we ultimately stuck to our, our guns and, and did the one that we came to get. So Matt got this one here, which was a little bit darker, just goes with his vibe. His built-in will be black, but it also gives a nice break of all the black that's there. So we're just looking at the different color tones within that space. Um, I believe, no, actually he's got this one. The other one was a full wood countertop and this one was um, a laminate one, but it was really nice and the variation in the color was kind of spot on. So we went with that. And the prices were really good. He ended up getting the 98 um, inch length one. So that was the $99. And then I ended up buying a different countertop as well. But I really like the color in that. And then of course you have to take pictures. So we can get to the very end. Um, you'll be able to go ahead and find all the items that you were interested in as you were walking through the showroom. So I found my countertop. I decided to go with this one. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. I think it's Ekebeck. Akabakan. See, that's why I said I wasn't going to try it, but then I tried. Um, so that is the countertop that I went with. I wanted to go with something that was more curly. Um, I thought Matt would zoom back into there a little bit more. I guess not. <laughs> but with that one, it's like a full marble look. And so that's one that I ultimately decided to go with. He liked that herringbone as well, which was really nice. And that was a um, an actual wood cabinet, or excuse me, countertop, keep saying cabinet. But we ultimately stuck to our guns, like I said, and got the laminate countertops. So as we were walking through, Matt actually found his countertop on a mock-up or a room within um, Ikea. And so it was nice to see it against black as well because that's the contrasting color within his office space. So it just reassured him like, this is the direction that I want to go with. This is the product that I want. Um, so I thought it was really nice and so I wanted to make sure that we highlight it. Um, so again, he found it <laughs> one more time it looks like um, within that space. Or that could have been a different tone or, or a different color one. Um, but yeah, while we were actually walking through Ikea, we met um, a couple more subscribers as well. I think she was with her daughter and family and um, we were just walking around and, and it's very nice when people come up to you and say, hi, this is Georgia Clay. So it was so sweet. So we made sure to make time and, and say hello to them. Um, so that is another look at my laminate countertop that I actually went with within that space of a kitchen and I absolutely love it. I just feel like it kind of goes with upstairs. I have a true, um, but they're Corian countertops, um, excuse me, quartz countertops, but they have that same veining. And I'm like, do they even use Corian anymore? But, um, but yeah, so it has that same veining. So here is our cabinet here. If you guys are familiar, we did the Retrosaur uh, hack and I absolutely love it. And it's so crazy how ours looks compared to the one that you can buy in store. So here is the Havasta unit, and actually that is the base that you can buy separately as well, because normally it's just the glass cabinet itself, and it is in the white, and it is $279 exactly how you see it. If you just want the cabinet, it is $250, and the base frame, again, is the additional amount. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love it. I'm just taking some pictures here to show my mama, um, and just taking some pictures of like design, um, 
elements within the cab the cabinet of you know how they designed it a little bit too much um items in there for me but if you wanted to buy the cabinet all together it's $4.99 with that base cabinet but it was just a little too shallow for what I needed for my desk space within my office but I love it so much so pretty so here we are again looking at some kitchens just making our way through we didn't have the kids with us and usually when they are with us they'll complain I want to go home I want to go home or this is boring <laughs> so we were able to just take our time looking at everything and I'm so appreciative of how Ikea uses the products that they sell and implement them a lot within the space of their mock-ups because it allows you to see everything and, and get the feel of it. But Matt seemed to really like that Ikea kitchen. Um, and then also the shaker cabinets because our, our kitchen is shaker as well. It's not an Ikea kitchen but um, Ikea has been coming up. So here we are finally checking out and um, we got way more than we came for. <laughs> And um, we're just loading up the basket there. We got all of our items here. Again, items from Matt's office, items from my office, and we decided to stop at Target. So here we are at Target. We're getting items for my office. Matt showed me that detailing, which I really liked that table, excuse me, that uh, mirror, but it just was a little bit too heavy for my space, but very nice for someone else. Um, I ended up getting that base. I have it on my kitchen counter and I absolutely love it. I have some faux hydrangeas in it because I love hydrangea flowers. And so I'm just walking through and, and looking at some items and I was thinking about some candle operas um, within my office space, but then I was like, nah, you know, I, I'd rather have a real candle where I can light them. I did like those gold or brass uh, vases and all the brass elements since my office is going to be white with hint of brass. And so it was really nice to be able to look through everything. And this IKEA um, buyer house is really well stocked, as you can see, because um, I have another one that's about 20 minutes away from me, and I feel like it never has anything. You see that um, wreath there? I have that for spring, so you guys will see that in a later vlog. But there is my chair that I bought for my office. It's just very nice skin beautiful and, and serene and so I have that and then I ended up buying that maple leaf tree as well to go in my office space. So here I'm looking at the threshold shelves that I ultimately um, got. They're the 36 inch length and I purchased them. Actually I purchased them online not in the store that particular day because I was still on the fence but I, I did get these um, particular shelves for my coffee bar that you guys saw last week. It's actually all done so make sure that you guys check out my Instagram because I posted a cute little reel um, with it as well. I love to do styling in the store. <laughs> like this guy was sitting here and in the chair and I asked him like, I'm sorry, can I go ahead and style this really quick just to show like how I want it to look <laughs> in my space before I buy something. I always style before I buy it. I don't know it, what it is, but I think that's a true designer, I guess. <laughs> but I always do that. I mean, I like to style it, make sure I like it. I sit in the area, talk to myself. This time I had Matt to talk to, but yeah. All right, guys. So I hope that you guys liked today's vlog. Um, again, just a little shot with me. Um, I hope that you guys are intrigued with the items that we got. I think that it's going to make a huge impact in the space. I'm already looking at it now and it has. Um, but I can't wait to share it with you guys. You know, Target is one of my favorite places. So we took a couple of detours. We actually after Target, we went over to Office Max and got Matt his new office chair and it's so comfortable, so plush. Mine actually comes today um, from FedEx. Hopefully it's been raining here and you know how FedEx is, slight chance of rain or anything, they don't deliver. <laughs> so hopefully, fingers crossed that it comes today. Um, but I'm within my office space now and I'm loving it. My Keurig, if you guys can see it, finally came, so it's back there. I have my monitors down here because we're getting ready to do an accent wall. Um, behind my built-in so that way it's completed and um, yeah so we have a lot of things going on again I can't wait to see you guys next week so you guys can see the vision behind today's shot with me but let me know in the comments what you guys think um, what are your thoughts about the items that I chose to create my built-in um, can you see the vision do you know possibly where I got the Pinterest inspiration because I didn't show it in this vlog but I most definitely will show it next vlog so um, I think in the comments you can post a picture so either you can post a picture in the comments or hit me over on Instagram and send me a DM and if you can find the inspiration behind the built-in that I'm building in my office then we'll think about something as far as a little 
giveaway or something like that. A little small little um, thing. So let's see if you guys can find it. So the first one, let me know over on Instagram and DM and, and see if you know me that well. <laughs> Again, thanks so much for tuning in this week to This Georgia Clay. Please make sure you like, subscribe, share it with a friend, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys.